Hi guys, <clears throat> today's video is going to be about what your most unique qualities are, what qualities about you are different and important in your life. And so we have four different piles, there's pile one, two, three, and four. Take a moment to get in touch with your higher self and your intuition, take a few deep breaths cleanse clear your mind pick the pile you feel most drawn to and we're going to get started with pile one you know I don't know why I forgot about this but I think I enjoy it better when I set the cards off to the side and pull the piles over instead of having to move all of them <laughs> so for pile one I think you're somebody very celebratory, somebody who enjoys a good time with your family and friends, somebody who's very connected to the community, somebody who really is able to live in the moment and just enjoy life. Somebody who brings a lot of happiness to others as well. somebody who knows how to celebrate a good time so you're also somebody who really can be very calculating and patient somebody who's able to wait patiently for the right time to strike somebody who could be very courageous honorable patient but very quick when necessary somebody very cunning and has the ability to conquer their fears Somebody who really has very good instincts, especially when it comes to survival. You conserve your energy when it's needed, and you do everything in your power to protect and to save your energy. You're somebody who can really take care of your spirit, and you know the necessity and the reason behind it. Because you know that when your spirit's unhealthy, your body also suffers. So you're somebody who's really able to take care of yourself spiritually we have your happiness and optimism melts the ice on my heart I think that one's in the wrong pile children are a big part of your future whether yours or that of another healing and inspiration comes to you your business sense is on point trust you know where the value lies so you're somebody who really is very has a very good business sense is really able to see through the challenges and obstacles in a business sense somebody who is really able to break through the walls other people put up to protect themselves possibly even children because you know when to wait and when to strike and what to strike with. There's also that children are a big part of your future, whether yours or that of another. So it could be, you know, that you're a very good parent. It could be that you're a very good babysitter. It could be that you're somebody who works in the daycare industry or somebody who works as a teacher. You're somebody who heals and inspires others. And... You have a lot of healing inspirations that come to you and that allow you to sense what's going on and be able to do something about it. You're somebody who's really able to bring the light to others and bring fun to others. And you really understand how to celebrate life. <clears throat> you see the patterns around you and help others awaken too. You are truly compassionate and understanding and have a heart of gold. Yeah, so somebody very intelligent, very perceptive, somebody who really sees things on a deeper level because you take the time out to understand them more before jumping in. And it helps others to be able to awaken to these things they might not have seen otherwise as well. You protect all that you love with a fiery passion. You have many gifts locked inside. Find the key to bring them out. It is inside of you. So you're somebody who has a lot of gifts within yourself. Somebody who really has a deep understanding of things. A deep knowing and inner knowing. Somebody who really is able to 
truly understand others as well and see the patterns all around you. You're very protective as well. Somebody who would stand up for anyone and protect them. Maybe you also help others to see the gifts inside of themselves and figure out how to tap into them as well. I've kind of get that feeling because you got the, it's kind of like a teacher vibe going on in this pile just a little bit. We have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and Judgment. So you're somebody very romantic, very artistic, very creative, very open and loving. You have a lot of emotions and a lot of love flowing through you. Just a lot of love flowing through you. You're somebody very truthful though and would stand up for anything you believe in. You're not afraid. You're very courageous. Somebody who really is ready to go to battle if they have to, especially with your words. But you're also somebody who does not judge others. You're very open-minded and you're able to forgive easily. You may be a little impulsive at times to express things, but you're also somebody who's able to rise above that. Somebody who's really able to rise above the past as well, to forgive, to live and let live. Somebody who's very friendly, very harmonious in their emotions. Somebody who really enjoys being with friends and really brings a lot of love and light to their friends' friend situations. Somebody who is really enjoys an equal give and take of emotions with others. Somebody who enjoys conversations immensely. And really enjoys being able to dream and think of new things. And somebody who also may help children to become friends with each other and to be able to leave the past behind and to find forgiveness in their hearts. <clears throat> you inspire others to let go of their childish immaturity, I think, as well, to make peace. So that's what I have for this pile. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for a new video, I'd love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you watch this. Bye-bye. So, for pile two... <clears throat> Pile two, you got two extra little messages when I pulled out your charm as well. You have, recognition may come in an unexpected way. Release expectations. And we have, there is pleasure in the pathless woods by Lord Bry Byron. So you're really somebody who's able to take the path less, path less traveled, somebody who's really able to understand that recognition can come in mysterious ways, in ways that you aren't expecting, and you're somebody who's able to go against the grain where others may not. You're somebody who's very emotional, very deep emotionally, somebody who communicates from the heart very effectively, somebody who's really in touch with their heart and their emotions. And really has a very big depth to them. Oh, yes you do. <laughs> so for the dolphin, you're somebody very balanced in your energy, very harmonious. Somebody very joyful and playful. Somebody who has very good instincts and is very intelligent. You're somebody very protective of others. And you're somebody who also brings life back to any situations. Somebody, or You bring life back to those who are in depressed states as well. I think you're somebody who helps others uncover their hearts in a way. You're very lucky, very self-sacrificing. You're somebody who makes friends very easily. And you're somebody who's able to make friends with any type of person. You fit in anywhere. You're somebody who brings harmony and peace wherever you go. You're the life of the party. Somebody who just brings joy, optimism. And very strong emotional healing properties are present in this pile as well. Others may not have always noticed your efforts, but they do now. Way to put your foot down. 
So you might have been somebody who had a hard time setting healthy boundaries in the past because you're somebody who's so optimistic, so joyful, so playful, and you really didn't expect people to just walk over the top of that. And especially since dolphin energies are usually very protected energies because they're so pure. And, you know, you might not have got the recognition you deserve for your optimism, your playfulness, your joy that you brought to situations, but you're starting to have people notice that now. You don't care who gets you and you are on unapologetically yourself. So you're somebody who chooses to be you no matter what anybody else thinks, period. Bottom line, you probably forgive people that most people would decide they don't deserve forgiveness. They don't deserve to be in your life anymore. But you know, if they've changed your ways, you're somebody who's going to accept them back into your life. You're somebody who's going to accept them back in if they have decided that you are worthy in their life and they're not going to take advantage of you anymore. But you also make damn sure that they don't, too. You are meant for some big things. Never lose faith. You are the star. You could do anything that you dream of. Just keep believing. So you're somebody who really just believes that your all your dreams could come true if you just keep believing. And don't ever stop doing that because there really are big things in your future. And through faith, you can achieve those dreams. And you're somebody who makes others believe in their dreams because they watch you accomplish this. And it's amazing to them. Reliable, strong. You are always there when needed and remain grounded in hard times too. You are fearlessly true to yourself and your values come first. Your dreams have a deeper meaning than you know. Explore them for answers. You have beauty that radiates from deep within. So you're somebody who may dream a lot. There's two different things about dreams here. Well, technically three if you count this one. It just doesn't say anything about dreams. So anyway... I'm actually a very good dream interpreter as well, so if you wanted to leave a comment about a dream that you had, I can help you figure out what it means as well. So anyway, your dreams have a far deeper meaning than you know. Ooh, Conscience by Jacob Lee is a good song. And they were put there for a reason, and you believe this. You're somebody who really has a deep beauty that radiates from deep within your soul. You're a very pure person, somebody with very pure energy, somebody who's very grounded though as well and very strong, somebody who's always there when people need them and you are really able to hold your own throughout hard times. You're somebody who is very fearlessly true to yourself. Your own values come first and you don't care what anybody else thinks about that period. <clears throat> you may also have visions in your dreams or you may have the ability to sort through different issues in your life through finding the meanings in your dreams as well. We also have the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. So you're somebody who really doesn't like conflict a whole lot. You may actually tuck tail and run sometimes when it comes to conflict, but I really don't think so at the same time. seems like you're somebody who is able to stand up and fight when it's something you truly believe in. But if it isn't, you're just like, eh, no, not going to do that. You're somebody, I think, who has a hard time seeing through the masks others put up at times. You may, at times, have a hard time knowing your own worth as well and may feel like you aren't good enough for something. But you're somebody who, it's not just that you avoid conflict when it comes to that. You're somebody who follows your growth. Somebody who transforms from every conflict that you interact with. Somebody who is really very loving and expresses that love out to the world, gives that love to the world. I think you're somebody who brings a lot of peace to conflicts as well. Somebody who, I think, allows others to see their worth, helps others to see their worth. I might get an extra couple cards for this really quick. Yeah, you're somebody who right now is on this journey. It's a slow journey, you know, a long journey and finding your patience, finding your stability. Somebody who really is finding where they should be placing their priorities and what's valuable to them. Somebody who's learning and growing and understanding from all of the journeys that you've been on and through. And somebody who brings that knowledge and wisdom to others as well and expresses those truths from a pa place of patience and persistence and stability. Somebody who really is very hardworking and very effective, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you don't do it because you're just trying to please others or because you feel less than worthy. 
understand and know your own true worth and value because there's a lot in this reading about knowing your own true worth and value. So that's what I have for this pile. I hope you really enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your comment, comments or feedback in the comments below. And I'd really love to hear if you have a suggestion for a future video as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. So for pile three... I think you're somebody who's really able to see the deeper meaning behind things. Somebody who doesn't get fooled by the outer appearance of things. Somebody who's really able to delve in and divine that deeper meaning and that deeper understanding. And you may have a very flashy appearance yourself, possibly as well. But you see through those flashy appearances to the true deep inner beauty behind something. You're somebody who's very lucky, abundant, fertile very growth oriented somebody who has grown in your emotions a lot through life's trials we have the peacock the peacock is about being able to divine and see the true deep inner beauty within as well and to not allow the flashy plumage to get in the way of that so for the peacock you're someone who's very abundant, someone very colorful, very graceful. You're somebody very aware and very protected, somebody who everyone knows or wants to know. Some people actually believe that the peacock is the earthly manifestation of the celestial phoenix as well. Somebody who's able to rise above adversity is very flexible, very adaptable throughout changing circumstances. Somebody really able to renew yourself repeatedly. Somebody who is very powerful, has a lot of beauty, has a very high rank, is very filled with integrity. Somebody who's very vibrant filled with life, somebody who has a vision and is able to lead others to awaken because you're somebody who's really very awakened. Everything is as it should be. No worries, you are on the right path. I think you're somebody who really knows that you're on the right path as well. Remember to be patient. Anything worth having takes time to cultivate. You have accomplished so much already. Notice and appreciate how far you've come. Notice and appreciate not just the outer appearances, but the deep, the depth within. All of the things that you have done and accomplished and all the growth that you've had, all the abundance in your life. Really take a moment to just be grateful for yourself and for everything in your life. Oh, hey, be grateful for everything as it is. And then more will start to come in. Exactly. That's how you bring in abundance is by being able to be truly grateful for everything in your life exactly how it is at this moment. We have the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So you're somebody who may have went through a rough heartbreak, a lot of emotional turmoil, really were hurt in a very deep way and from this you have learned you've been on this journey and you took the chance to go on this journey to gain new understandings new perspectives new thoughts new ideas and you started expressing those thoughts and ideas in a very effective manner you started really expressing your growth and your truth and it really has brought you a lot of victory, a lot of recognition, and you may not be seeing that yet because if you notice, this person's alone. They're on this spiritual journey, and they're really finding that recognition within themselves. And that's the thing is, in order to notice the recognition outside yourself, you need to be able to notice the recognition inside yourself. You're somebody who's really very able at this point to set your boundaries freely and with ease, to really expect to be treated decently, and to set your boundaries in a healthy way with happiness, with peace, and really to be able to express your true passions, your true desires, with no regard for what anybody else thinks about that. And that's because of this growth you've gone through. That's because of this heartbreak you you've suffered and it really makes you very unique that you're able to turn that heartbreak into growth and you're able to go off on a new adventure afterwards a new journey you are a social chameleon able to fit in anywhere the last pile was about being able to fit in anywhere as well all your hard work is starting to pay off no more worrying notice and celebrate your victories even if it's small 
it's a start. So the last pile was about that as well. If you feel drawn to listen to pile two, go ahead and listen to it. You are able to understand without words, clear cognizant, very knowledgeable. Being around people, helping and feeling useful is what fulfills you the most. So you're somebody who really, really is very fulfilled by being able to spread this growth, this knowledge, this awareness by helping others through their journey, by recognizing their gifts and their strengths, because you see them, you see them for who they really are, and you're able to communicate this to them. And all of your hard work is starting to pay off. People are starting to recognize and appreciate everything that you've done for them. Be grateful for yourself and recognize and appreciate yourself, and you will start to see that more. And really, you're just, you're on the right path and you know it. You've accomplished a lot. And remember to have patience on your journey because journeys are a lifetime. They're not just a short little thing that's going to end. No, your entire life is going to be a journey. Learning patience now would be a very good thing. So that's what I have for this pile. I hope you really enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below or if you have a suggestion for a future video. I'd love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye.